could devour a Billy Hawk right about now. Bravo, bravo. So the lab rats have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes, as always, Dalton. You gutless coward! Why don't you meet us here, face to face? Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you. Took the kids, too. Left you with nothing but your work. At least I'm not experimenting on children! Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. Well, it was nothing personal. If anything, it was your friend Wendell's fault. You see, this is the pattern with Wendell's little projects. Start with a dubious concept with few prospects for commercial success. Miss all deadlines, go over budget with nothing to show for it. So the rest of the prominent must make up for his failures. Figure out a way to salvage the unsalvageable. But as it turns out, this one time, Wendell was on to something. Not that he could ever see it in his myopia. Now then, where was I? Ah, yes. Thankfully, in the process, we discovered more lucrative applications. Assuming the raisining can be eliminated. Shrinking inanimate objects will change the world, no doubt. The shipping industry alone will never be the same. That was the extent of Wendell's imagination. But people... The governments of the world will bankrupt each other for a mere taste of this technology. Despite what my former colleague might have told you, it was certainly not by choice. I hypothesized that adolescents would be resistant to the effects of reasoning. The young have incredibly strong immune systems, after all. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? So you did find a cure, because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. Obviously, I can't allow any of you to leave this facility alive. Oh, come now. Although I won't mind the fame, the power, the respect for Director Dalton Schmechter. But in the end, my little rat, yes, it is always about the money. No one will sponsor your spirit of invention without raw profit. A simple elementary concept. Something you never understood, Tony. With your idealism and your raw science. You're a disgrace to the profession, Dalton. And you are a deluded fool. Ha ha. The hypothesis was developed. The experiments were conducted. The results have been analyzed. Schmexer, you son of a... The conclusion concluded. All that remains is to take out the trash. Farewell, my little rats. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it. 